I am truly relieved, and I'll tell you, it's about time. It really is. It's about time. A New York City father who waited nearly 40 years for justice finally got it. Stan Pates's son, Aton, went missing in 1979 as he walked to the school bus stop by himself, two blocks from the family's home. He was six years old and was never seen again. The disappearance made national headlines and changed the way kidnappings are investigated. He was one of the first children to appear on the side of a milk carton. A man named Pedro Hernandez was found guilty of strangling the boy after he allegedly confessed a few years ago to luring Aton into the store where he worked at the time. His attorney argued he has mental illness and was innocent of the crime. But the Pates family says the jury got it right. The Pates family has waited a long time, but we finally have found some measure of justice for our wonderful little boy, Aton. I'm really grateful that this jury finally came back with what I have known for a long time, that this man, Pedro Hernandez, is guilty of doing something really terrible so many years ago. The National Center for Missing and Exploited Children has designated May 25th, the anniversary of Aton's disappearance, as Missing Children's Day. For InsideEdition.com, I'm Mara Montalbano.